I've been up, you've been down, we've been here before Yet and still you should know uh, I've been wrong, you've been right, that's just life, you know Yet and still Good rising, my people I am exhausted <laughs> I've really been awake since like 1.30 this morning And you know, trying to get, get, get to it um, I have like a crazy ass nightmare. Didn't even go back to sleep or try to go back to sleep until like 4.30. And then by that time, baby girl was awake. And I don't know why she woke up, but she was up till almost six. So, well I think she was up until a little after six actually. Um, so yeah, <laughs> we slept in until like nine because I think she finally fell back asleep around like seven, seven thirty. So we slept until like nine and now we're up and I am trying to get this Christmas tree taken down. Um I think that's gonna be my goal for today so I can set her play area back up. Don't mind my lips. I know they asked you girl I haven't even brushed my teeth so I got the bonnet on. So yeah that's what's on the agenda for today. vacuum this area um and set up like a new play mat for her is what i'm thinking yeah and go ahead and wipe her toys down and give them back to her i've been wanting to do that anyways i just felt like it didn't really make sense for me to do it until i took the tree down so i could move it back to where it normally is and she got this cute little like height thing for Christmas I think I'm gonna put it on the other side of her window but I need to like actually unwrap it and stuff so yeah I'm gonna do that too and then make her a new play mat so I'll sanitize vacuum I'm so close to myself <laughs> I'm gonna sanitize the vacuum put that up and then set up a new play area Y'all, that Christmas tree has messed me up. Let me see if I can find a way for y'all to see. But do y'all see my arm? and I need to cook dinner for the night there's a sample of dishes it's a dishwasher full of dishes and I am so tired that I can't even think straight <laughs> my hands are so ashy y'all they're so dry um, but I have the stroller in here because I have a lot to do and I'm not really gonna be able to like play with her and all that like going up and down stairs 
it's just gonna be a lot. I have to let the dogs out. I have to empty her, her um, sanitizer. I have to finish cleaning off her toys. I have a lot to do. I have to unload the washer. I have a lot to do. I have a lot to do. I'm so tired. I need to cook these grits and these eggs. I don't even think the sinew is off of this deer meat. And I don't have the time to like nitpick and go through it all. Like, I'm so exhausted, y'all. I'm so, so, so exhausted. I have to put this water up because of course, it didn't get put away. She's not busy to like kind of help me out <laughs> in the energy department. I'm so ashy. Like my face is ashy and dry. My hands are super dry. Um, yeah, let's, let's, let's just try to get to it, y'all. Let's just try to get to it. I'm literally not about to take this thing off the journey. It is what it is. I like. <laughs> I can't do it. I can't do it. I do not have it in me. But like the amount of, I don't know if this is like tissue or whatever, but like the amount of like seeing you and stuff, all this white, gray, um, like little purplish tint, all that should be gone. But with a baby, there's no way that I can get all of this off. Like there's no way, it's gonna take me a while to do this and I just don't have that type of time so you know it's, it's just gonna get cooked <laughs> I mean it just is what it is
I've been wearing it so much since I got it. So this is kind of like to cut that deer meat again and I felt myself getting agitated again because it literally will not cut. It literally will not cut. And I don't have time to go through every single knife to figure out a knife that will cut it if that's even the case. Because like my sink is already overflowing full of dishes. I have to unlock the dishwasher. I gotta finish cooking. I got a child to watch. I got dogs to let out. I got laundry that needs to be undone. I got a freaking stroller in the kitchen and back and forth. My baby is hungry because she's really only eating once today because I've been trying to do everything else. So I'm over the deer meat. Like it's gonna go in the refrigerator. <laughs> and when Jay gets home. He can cut it, and if he don't cut it, it's going in the trash. Like, that's that's just how I feel about it, that I've decided I've made up my mind. At best, it might get fed to the dogs, but I don't even feel like smelling their farts when it comes to their meat. So, you know, and I still have a whole sanitizer full of stuff that I gotta unload for baby girl. So, you know, yeah, today's gonna be a donut day. It is currently two o'clock. So we have about two and a half hours left of the day, pretty much, before we start winding down and eating dinner and all the things. I don't even know if there's anything here for me to eat now that I've thought about it. 
Yeah, I don't even, let me see. Because I really don't think so. I think there was like literally one piece of chicken left. Yeah, mm -hmm. there's one piece of chicken left, so. I'll eat that, and it's like the smallest piece of chicken, but you know, whatever. <laughs> I'll eat that, and um, I'm going to give me some donuts, girl, and I'll figure out something else up. I figure everything else out tomorrow. Like I just all right. They're my favorite. I'm glad I got half a dozen of them. But they're doing what they need to do for my sweet tooth. It's 324. I washed as many dishes as I could. This is what we got left. Plus, I need to put this in some more containers when they get done in the dishwasher. This needs to be clean. chocolate donut holes, let alone chocolate donut holes from Shipley. I just really feel like last time I got donuts, I said that I should have gotten the chocolate. So, we're gonna try these. They look Anywho, I'm about to go to the house, sit outside, 
eat these donuts. And then, um, probably watch something on YouTube, maybe. Let's see if baby girl stay asleep. Cause I know she knocked out. But. Now I'm gonna play. I knew that was gonna happen when I paused it. It was not gonna watch her. Not when I'm playing. I'm gonna watch her. But anyways, yeah. And part of the reason I just think all of that is very interesting. I thought baby girl was sleeping. Mom and girl up playing with her toys. Um, we're not far from Target. I'm trying to think what else we need in terms of like groceries. But I'll just go back home and get my mom together because I know I have a couple of things that I need to do at the house. Daddy. other people need you know like what she means to me is I mean something tremendous but I can't expect to expect that to be the reality for others so yeah I can't judge nobody though girl I used to be an alcoholic and especially now that I have a baby I just look at alcohol so different like it's so disgusting to me like it's so disgusting 
trying to breathe because I really don't want to cry. Because I don't ever want her to feel like it's her job to do something about it always. I do want her to be empathetic um, and have those qualities of being considerate and empathetic, but I don't want her to feel like yeah. it's always her responsibility. Alcohol is just gross <laughs> in a nutshell to me. And, you know, kids want to be there for you. I wouldn't and couldn't leave my child with someone who is drinking the Christmas season um, has been just, drinking or I'm and you I'm definitely cannot up. if I'm not confident that you so will not be drinking while you um, have my child so you will not be keeping my child <laughs> like because alcohol is just a disgusting family, thing like and it, and then no always, matter you know, how functioning you think like that you are um, really when you're drunk play every other year and some people will be like oh um, I'm not drunk but you've been drinking and house smack, yeah, so, so you're just not my, my house in the most cognitive place would be once you've been drinking because if that if that was the case why would you be drinking but you know what I'm other saying? Than that, like, if you're just drinking to even take the edge off, uh, that's a no-no for me because I need you to have the edge on like that. <laughs> when you and got my back. My so, auntie passed away. Yeah, I just I can't I can't get down with alcohol anymore. I really cannot. I need you to be completely aware. And I actually talked to one of my friends about this because. A lot of people will also say, you know, like you can breastfeed and drink and not have to pump and dump, you know, as long as you're not drunk, you know what I mean? And you can take like a pH test, like a litmus test or whatever, um, that'll tell you how much alcohol is in your breast milk. But I still don't want to do that because, again, if my cognition is tampered with, I feel like I cannot show up as my best self. Like, my reaction time is going to be a little bit less. And I, like, girl, I do not want to have to do no whole science experiment to prove my point. Like, grief was just that's so the heavy. purpose of the alcohol. It's so that you are not as all I've the way there. And that is the purpose. And so when people say that they are all you know, the way there, Again, everybody just and they've been drinking. What is the point? Understand it. Sorry what for is that the point of camera. drinking if you're going to be all the way there? But everybody doesn't really get that. Yeah. Like, aren't you that having a drink so that with social media you're not all the way there? And it. when you, you know, say like, it like that, people are trying to lot. be like really, so, really, really defensive. But girl, it is what it is. Okay. It now is that I'm like taking that's, out all the Christmas decorations and stuff like that. Anyways, let's go on to Target. It's just. The weight of those things have become so, 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 so heavy here recently that it's just hard, man. That, and I mean, I can't just exclude the postpartum depression and just having had gone through my pregnancy without my parents, specifically my mom. January is always a really, really, really hard month for me. Um, so, again, I know mine, there's other people who have been through worse, but I'm not going to minimize my experience or act like my experience didn't have an effect on me in the way that it did. And I think that the people that I have around me, and not everybody, always, of course, but... You know, the people that I have around me are just very, for lack of better words, dismissive of my experience. 
all in all, this this month and what I feel right now is a lot on me. It's, it's real hard. But I don't think I'll ever really have it all in, in a nutshell to explain um, the and feeling. And she's literally my very, 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 like. very, 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 to very be honest, because it never is easier. Friend, and, um, and life and keeps like that. Everybody comes to January it easier. It's it always been rough for me because that's my parents' death anniversary, and it just seems like. I don't know where to the put energy that head. January DC. always brings for me is so, so heavy. I've never actually set like resolutions from Target, and all that type of stuff. Up, like man. Christmas is so magical that I just bask in it, and then you know, growing up, we never really rushed to take down the Christmas decorations and things, and I think because so my girl is able to sit up by herself so I have her like sitting on the counter and I'm holding her with this hand that I can't show you because I'm holding her but I got this five pound bag of drumsticks from Tyson's that was on sale for five dollars so I was like, okay girl. Like I was supposed to get a whole like case or whatever from um I think Sanderson Farm. And what that was like, and it wasn't an easy pregnancy. It wasn't the most difficult pregnancy either, you know? Like, I know I there are so many people. One of my Hawaiian close friends had a much more difficult pregnancy than me. Sandwiches. Um, and we were pregnant at the same time. <laughs> and she literally she almost lost her life. Funny, uh, I mean, in a sense, oh I almost God. lost my life as well. But she literally, literally, I got some green beans, no salt added for flame. And then I got the no salt added just in case I wanted to let baby girl try some. A guilty pleasure, you know, for those rough days. Um, that's been kind of on my agenda for video ideas is talking about grieving while raising a child and being a parent without parents. The paper towels were $6 after I use my points or whatever. So, and then why is alcohol, from Dollar General, why is alcohol Are you $5? guys ready for a small? I, I don't understand. I know I should've went to Walgreens, but like I went to Dollar General and it's $5. So, dollars. Like, like girl, can late today. <laughs> Literally, so okay, this so girl is trying to get everything. You don't have the alcohol? Get the, just the up and up brand. It's too heavy. We got some. Actually, I like my I'm going to put everything up or whatever. This is a pan. I think it's on sale for four dollars. Um, I got some large peeled and deveined shrimp to make shrimp kibachi at home. I got some girls.
I think Sanderson Farm for I think it was like 2.8 something pounds and it was gonna be like six something six dollars and some change I was like girl give me this to five pounds for five dollars okay <laughs> Then I got this big Kroger brand of okay. Loops, chicken looking about done, girl. Falling off the, the bone, size. Size. And <laughs> we eat a lot of cereal around it here. It was on sale for two dollars, so. Okay, you guys. So this girl that I went to college with, oh my bra showing. <laughs> this girl Funny, I went to college uh, with oh um, sent me a dress. Um, then I got some eggs. These eggs, babes, was like two dollars nineteen cents. Hey, can I do Bar something eggs real quick? A dollar. To let baby girl try some which typically i would get like the um not canned green beans or not canned anything for her but you know what can you do some salad shrimp rough days and some oats milk i don't have my phone on me and i don't see the receipt to tell you guys how much this was but it was under 40 dollars. i was prepared to spend 50 dollars but it was under 40. At first I thought it was like silver sequins, so I would have to wear okay. silver jewelry, but I guess I really don't have to wear silver jewelry. Um, we shall see. Love I'm gonna put everything up except for those chicken drumsticks. I'm gonna take some of these out, pop them in the oven, and that's going to go with some stuff for dinner, okay? I think I, well, I know I still have some potatoes left, some um, scalloped potatoes. I think I have like one container with it. I wish I would have had the flash on, but First yeah, we tried this potatoes, restaurant. So I forgot the I'll name of it. Green beans or at least um, but it was, it was pretty good. Um, it wasn't just immaculate. Um, like plain. we got there and there was this guy talking about how he was from Philadelphia, Mississippi, and he was driving yeah. there for the second time. And do like probably some lemon pepper chicken um because i did some teriyaki chicken especially from what we thought it was gonna be because yeah, originally we didn't think yeah, it was gonna be that, that great um, um yeah, because how the service was starting off but it was a little bit of a language little barrier little bit like with the puppy. afterwards once we did what the guy was suggesting for us to do it, it was pretty good i'm not gonna lie because me and her both were like i wish we could more seafood <laughs> we're both seafood lovers so yeah, but once we did it the way that he uh, suggested yeah. us to do it, it was pretty good. I'm not gonna good. Not even gonna flex, y'all. Cool. Yeah, I'm just sitting in the car chilling, kinda unwinding and um hanging out with baby girl. Well hanging out girl, I'm being at her. Um but yeah, she wore screen the whole way home because she was just hungry. I hope that this dress worked. She was for, busy having um, girl time too, honey. She wasn't trying to eat. I hope this just works so, for me. We're going to have some plenty of mom. I should have got some water. water. So, so, we just ran in the house. I'm assuming this is a so, lot of dress. I, I went dress shopping today too, but like trying on. Um, and I started to let May out and let her come out here with us. So, girl, it's, just, it's cold outside and I don't want to have it with the door open. I'm going to try it on and try to get it inside. And what's crazy is my other dress came. Yeah, so we're gonna go in and, 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 and
material did he have tied up in it? So we shall see. Yeah. This material feels pretty. It's only one layer. 